What's up guys, cell phone cameras are capable of shooting high quality video, but sometimes it can be difficult getting steady camera movement. I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to get the best stabilized footage. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to recommend everyone to get is a Redicam Universal Mount. I actually picked this up on Amazon about a year ago and it's been a very handy tool that I carry in my bag everywhere I go. They have an XL version which fits big phones like the iPhone 6 Plus and even the Nexus 6. But what I really like about it is the build quality. It's CNC machined aluminum. It has a very nice locking mechanism which helps keep the phone secured. And they use 3M rubber pads to protect the phone so it won't get damaged. Now this adapter uses this standard quarter inch thread. So you can mount it on a tripod, a slider, or another one of my favorite, a pistol hand grip stabilizer. Now this pistol grip is advertised to be used with a GoPro and it does have all the accessories for it. But I use it with the Redicam and it works really well and it's also one of the tools I carry with me in my camera bag. Both of these work really well together and you can get some really nice footage. Now if you need to step up your game and go into areas where you normally can't get to, then I highly recommend you get the Yunteng Monopod. You get a similar pistol type grip which features a rubber material so it won't easily slip away and it also comes with a wrist strap to prevent the monopod from falling to the ground. There's three clamps that allow you to easily change its length and you can set it to your desired range and it will extend over four feet. You can get some really nice crane style footage or even some low angle shots that would be very difficult or even impossible to do without it. I've retrofitted mine so I can use my ready cam and I personally feel it's more secure this way. Especially when using this monopod, I tend to do more dangerous shots that could potentially damage the phone. Oh yeah, you can also use this as a selfie stick for those of you that want to show off that duck face. And finally, if you want buttery smooth footage and don't mind spending some Benjamins, the 3 axis handheld stabilizer by Kumba Cam is a great choice. It's very lightweight, takes about a minute to set up, and it's super easy to use. It comes with two rechargeable batteries and a charger, and I like the fact that the charger has a micro USB port, so if you're on the go and need to recharge, just use a portable power bank and you're good to go. Using the Kumba Cam is very easy and requires no special training like you normally would with a steady cam stabilizer. It has three brushless motors that work together and as you move up, down, left or right, you can actually feel them react to each other as they help keep the image stable. Setup takes about a minute. It uses a spring loaded clamp to hold the phone down, which I'm not really a fan of. I personally would have rather seen something like the Redicam where it's more secure. It will hold large phones including a Nexus 6 but just make sure it's properly secured before using it. Once you're all set up, just power it on and you're ready to go. There's three buttons on the handle. The one on the left is to change between modes and the other two buttons on the right are for you to pan up or down or tilt from left to right depending on what mode you're in. Now if you want to get creative, the monopod and Kumba cam work together really well. So if you need to get shots that are distant, dangerous, or you need to do a nice jib shot, having both will definitely give you more options. Now I've put together this short video using all of the methods I talked about today. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit that like button as it does help out the channel. 
Also, I'm gonna leave a link down below to pricing and availability to all of the products I talked about today. But before I sign off, let me know what kind of things you guys do to keep the image of your video stable. Thanks for watching and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios.